is a live look outside from our big eye cam. The ongoing haze from the Wallow Fire has prompted the city to extend the air quality alert through Monday morning at 11. The alert was supposed to expire today. And the city still recommending limiting outdoor physical activity and keeping windows and doors closed. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking the smoke moving in today. Jason? Uh, it was much worse yesterday around Albuquerque, so the metro itself did get a bit of a break, but our friends in Valencia County, Socorro, and obviously Catron County, and then eastward into Lincoln County had to deal with more of the smoke because we had more of a west to east direction. That will be changing, though, as we get into the weekend, so the break that Albuquerque has had will not be very long live. As you can see, we're expecting more of the haze. There's also a cold front moving into New Mexico. I'll let you know how that's going to affect our smoke forecast coming up in just a few minutes. We just talked to the general manager of the isotopes and confirmed that if the smoke gets bad again tonight, the topes will not play. Now, as of right now, they plan to go on with the game scheduled at 7.05 tonight. But general manager John Traub tells us they're concerned about the players and the fans, and they are in constant contact with authorities to determine the air quality. A new study being conducted in New Mexico shows that all the wood smoke in the air right now is significantly worse for smokers than it is for people who don't smoke. The Loveless Respiratory Research Center found that even a low amount of wood smoke decreases lung function, having a long-term effect. Doctors say if you don't smoke and you're healthy, your lungs will most likely make a full recovery. If you're healthy, uh, usually you are very good at fighting off uh, the exposures that we're getting like this. We're always uh, battling things on a daily basis. Loveless has developed models that duplicate the human lung for the study and is following about 3,000 current and past smokers in New Mexico to see the long-term effects of the current smoke in the air. The funding for the research comes from the state's tobacco settlement. PNM says it's confident their, their system can withstand significant line outages if the wallow fire hits the transmission lines that are closest to the flames. Officials say the system's design will allow them to stabilize problems and help other utility companies that share the line. We're told generating stations from Afton and Lordsburg will be brought in to help power southern New Mexico if needed. As of this morning, the fire was just 7 to 12 miles away from PNM's transmission line. Meanwhile, El Paso Electric is painting a better picture tonight of what could happen if the fire hits one of its transmission lines. This is a picture of the lines from the Palo Verde Nuclear Power Plant in Arizona that carry about 40% of El Paso Electric's power. The utility said yesterday those lines were in danger and rolling blackouts in Doña Ana County would be possible. But now, according to the El Paso Times, the utility says only one line partially owned by El Paso Electric is actually in danger. We'll have another live report from Luna, New Mexico coming up at 6 o'clock, and we're going to bring you any major developments throughout this newscast and in between newscasts at KOB.com.